The festival of colors. Guavis are ripening, lotuses are blooming, and holy, the Indian festival of colors is almost here. Chintu and Mintu are getting ready. Holy hair, holy hair, they whisper. They gather hibiscus flowers, because hibiscus flowers make red. They gather orchids, because orchids make purple. They gather marigolds, because marigolds make yellow. They gather irises, because irises make blue. Then they dry the flowers, separate the petals, and press the petals into a fine powder. And then, at last, the petal powder is ready. Chintu and Mintu are ready too. And so are their parents, and their friends, and their neighbors. And then, poof, purple pops. Poof, red bursts. Poof, yellow erupts. Poof, blue splashes. Soon the whole village is awash in color. Holy hair, holy hair, holy hair. Everyone shouts. Holy is a festival of fresh starts, and friendship, and forgiveness. But for Shintu and Mintu, it's mostly a festival of fun. A note from the authors. Holi is the Indian festival of colors, celebrated during spring, when new colors appear in nature. It symbolizes inclusiveness, new beginnings, and the triumph of good over evil. The festivities begin with an evening bonfire. The next morning, family, friends, and neighbors throw dry and wet colored powders on each other. People chant, Holy Heh, which is pronounced Holy Heh, and means it's holy. Traditionally, the powders were made at home using flowers. Families and friends gathered, dried, and ground the petals into fine powders, which were mixed with water to make brilliant colors. Now most people buy pre-made powders from the local bazaar or even online. There is plenty of singing, dancing, and feasting during the festivities. And with everyone covered in vibrant colors, there is a tremendous feeling of community.